The Sooners are once again in the mix for a transfer portal player. And so let's talk about can the Sooners land Jordan Tyson, wide receiver that is transferring from Colorado. We'll talk about him and a little bit more coming up here in about 10 seconds. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, where we take a pensive approach to the sports conversation. Thanks for pulling up to the YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Jordan Tyson, who recently took a visit to Norman. He's probably still here hanging out with the Oklahoma Sooners and our chances of potentially landing him out the portal. Coach Emmett Jones is on the grind, if you haven't noticed, and he has been going after a lot of top players. We just recently got Brandon Thompson that came from Texas as a transfer, and now he's working on Jordan Tyson, as well as Keon Coleman, I'm hearing, from Michigan State, who was a fantastic player. We'll talk about him at the end of the video, but there are some ties to Oklahoma that Jordan Tyson has that some of you may not know about, and I would love to get your thoughts as we go through it. So, y'all know the routine. Hop in the comments, let your boy know. Do you think we got a chance of landing Jordan Tyson as a transfer wide receiver to Oklahoma? Love to get your thoughts on that as well as, you know, those engagements really help us small content creators, especially with the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, subscribe button, as well as the bell notification. If you want to get this constant content, we're almost at 10,000 subs and it's all because of you, the people. And so let's talk about Jordan Tyson, some of his attributes and his ties to Oklahoma real quick. So Tyson, coming out of high school, the 2022 class when he committed to Colorado, wide receiver, about six foot at the time, and he played out of Allen High School in Allen, Texas. And so he's a Texas boy that went to Colorado, which was, of course, intriguing in itself. And honestly, he had himself a solid season as a freshman there at Colorado. Right now, he's listed at 6'1", about 170. And... His first year, he caught 22 passes for 470 yards, as well as averaging about 21.4 yards a catch. Who's that sound like? None other than our boy Marvin Mims. We talk about how we like players that can get that yak, that yards after the catch, as well as make their own plays. And it looks like Jordan is one of those players that can do that. He's heard from a lot of schools the moment that he hit the portal. And so as... uh. Uh, Hayes Fassett had posted out. He's heard from like Auburn and Texas A&M, uh, Cal, Washington State, Mississippi State, Arizona State, Oklahoma. The list is long for the people that are interested in him because he looks like a playmaker. He's someone that's got some special talent and we definitely would love to have him in our wide receiver room. And so coming out of high school, he caught 80 catches for 1,500 yards and 12 touchdowns. That was his senior year in 2021. And now you may ask the question, how does he tie to Oklahoma? Well, here it is. The guy that was throwing him the ball to get those 80 catches for 1,500 yards is none other than Oklahoma commit Michael Hawkins Jr. So it appears that Michael Hawkins is probably also working in the backgrounds with Coach Emmett Jones to convince him to come to Oklahoma. Actually, he is because... He actually tweeted out a picture and video of Jordan Tyson working out with his father, Michael Hawkins Sr., and said, hey, bring it back together, which was from 2021. There's your Oklahoma tie right there. He worked with Michael Hawkins Sr. and played with Michael Hawkins Jr. there at Allen and uh, Devon Mitchell as well. So there's a very good reason for Jordan to actually make Oklahoma his next home. And so looking at even some of these highlights from him, he had a stretch, a three-game stretch, where he had 13 catches for 344 yards. He was a monster. Then he got injured, hurt his leg, had surgery, and now he is recovering from that. And so besides that, man, that's another great wide receiver option we can have here at Oklahoma. And I do anticipate that we have a chance of winning them. This is the reason why. So another report has come down the line that I caught here off of Sooner Wire at uh, USA Today, and they pointed out that the 24, the, well, the new Sooners Illustrated team at 24-7 are pointing out that there is a chance that the Sooners can go after Jordan Tyson as well as his brother. Man, I heard his brother Jalen Tyson played at Texas, 6-7 wingman, played there and is looking at going into the, actually is back in the portal. He was at Texas, then went to Tech. He actually committed to Texas, played at Tech last year, 
and now he is headed back, I said, back into the portal. And because of that, Jordan actually appears to want to play football and basketball. He wants to do the Ronald, the Ron Curry and uh, Julius Peppers route of playing college football and college basketball. And so if Oklahoma can land both of these brothers, one on the football field, the other one on the basketball court, and then allow Jordan to play basketball once the football season is up, whoo, that could be some fun stuff. And I don't see why that would not happen. I don't see why Oklahoma would even not entertain that. Jordan Tyson and potentially his brother Jalen Tyson could end up in Norman, Oklahoma. So let's root for that. Hop in the comments. Let me know what you think about that. But also outside of that, the Sooners are also pursuing another wide receiver, Keon Coleman out of Michigan State. J.D. Pakel from On3 had posted a video of Keon catching the ball at the high point on Twitter and was pointing out that Oklahoma was in the runnings with LSU. Now, based upon the intel that's going around, it looks like LSU is leading the game, but Oklahoma is actually in the race. So it's not something that's a guarantee that we won't win, but it's an opportunity for us to pick up another high caliber wide receiver to come here to Oklahoma and add to the room. And then we can determine who's going to be the number one dude. So you'll have Brennan Thompson. Hopefully we can get our hands on Jordan Tyson. And then you add Keon Coleman on top of that. Woo, buddy, you're going to have yourself a special setup, a special wide receiver room. And then the last transfer that I know that we are definitely pursuing is Troy Everett out of Appalachian State. He is, if I'm correct, was doing a visit very recently. Nice interior offensive lineman that looks like, I mean, based upon the film from him against Texas A&M, look like he's got a motor on him. And he could potentially play inside or at the center position. And I'm hearing that Coach Beatenbow being as good at his job as he is, is what's got his attention and got him thinking that, huh, there's a chance that I can actually go out here and be developed by the right coach and, you know, be a special talent long term. So I'm stoked to see that the Sooners are pursuing these good players in the portal. And I hope you are, too. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know what your thoughts on it. Do you think we can land Jordan Tyson? You think we can get our hands on some Keon Coleman? I don't know about Coleman, but I am very confident in the Jordan Tyson piece, mainly because of the Michael Hawkins tie as, uh, and working out with his dad, as well as his brother potentially coming here also to play basketball because he needs a home, too. So if you're new to the channel, hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification and join this great community of sports fans as I'm a fan just like you all talking about fan stuff. And so outside of that, we will talk here in the next uh, day or two. Peace.